All right, in this video, I wanna show you a really cool groove. It's gonna spice up your playing, it's gonna allow you to kind of sound like you're speeding up or going into a sort of six, eight feel, but actually your backbeat will stay exactly the same. So with your band or you're jamming along to tracks, it's just a wicked way of adding some variety and sounding different. So there, I was moving from a normal beat in 4-4 to using the double power diddle groove, which is actually in 16th note triplets. So let's have a look, break it down, and I'll show you how to play the double power diddle. So just before I get into the actual sticking of the double power diddle, you are gonna need to know how to play 16th note triplets. They're pretty simple, and I've got a whole lesson on how to play them. So if you haven't watched that already, or you don't know how to play 16th note triplets, head over there, check it out, and then come back. All right, let's get on and look at the sticking of the double power diddle. So it's double power diddle, meaning you've got the two singles before it and then the power diddle, which is the right, left, right, right bit. So right, left, right, left, right, right, and then the mirror of it, which is left, right, left, right, left, left. So let's do the first half together, which is right, left, right, left, right, right. So that was right, left, right, left, right, right. And now the second half is the mirror of that. So left, right, left, right, left, left, like this. Now put them together and you get a pattern that you can loop. So remember the whole pattern goes right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. So put them together, sounds like this. Now if you loop that, it sounds like this. So that's getting to grips with the basis of the double power diddle groove. But we were playing it there with no dynamics or anything, we're just trying to get the sticking right. So to make it actually groove, you've got to turn it into a groove. So what we're going to do is on the first note of the second half, so that first left, we're actually going to play that as our main snare accent. So to do that, we're going to accent the first note of both halves of those. So the first right in the first half, and then the first left in the second half. And if you play all the other notes quiet, you'll start to get a sound like this. So I've been splitting it between the tom and the snare so you can hear the right hand and the left hand working separately. But now let's move them both onto the snare and let's really focus on getting that downbeat accent. So remember it's on the first right as so you play accent left, right, left, right, right. And then you go accent on that left. So left, right, left, right, left, left. So let's loop it now on the snare and really focus on getting the accent on the downbeats and keeping the rest quiet and you'll get that rolling 16th note triplet feel, like this. So you've got that rolling on the snare now, remember you want to be accenting the first note in each bar of 16th note triplets and that is going to move between your right hand and your left hand. Patterns like that are really good if they flip because they allow you to play them faster, it's kind of more economical and to actually move around the kit, which is why when we split this group up now, you'll see that one of those accents falls on your hi-hat and the second accent falls on the snare, which gives it that da feel. So let's split it up now. You're going to put your right hand on the hi-hat and your left hand is going to stay on the snare and you're going to accent that first note on the hi-hat and then that second accent is going to be on the snare. So it's going to sound like this.
Now add a bass drum on that first note with the hi-hat and you've got a groove. So that's the basic double paradiddle groove, but I want to show you how to put it into context. So we're going to go from a groove playing eighth notes on the hi-hat, and we're going to move into our new time feel, which is 16th note triplets using the double paradiddle groove. It's really important to use a click for this because without it, particularly learning a whole new time feel, you'll just be all over the place. So I'm going to put a click on. It's going to be at 130 BPM, but that's actually saying it's like 65 BPM at quarter notes. So what I mean is that 130 is representing your eighth notes. It's just going to be easier to play along to because 65 is quite slow to practice something to. So it sounds like this. So work on that until you've got it comfortable, and then let's try it a bit faster. So we're going to try it at 160 BPM. Just remember that that is representing eighth notes. So it's the same as playing it at 80 BPM as quarter notes. Let's give it a go. So once you've got that down and it's kind of integrated into your playing, you can start to mess around with throwing different accents or chucking some extra kick drums in there. And it just flows and it feels awesome. So let me show you that. So there you go, the double power diddle groove. It uses 16th note triplets, which means it's a great way to add some variety to your playing and make it sound kind of like you're speeding up, but actually you're keeping it exactly the same in terms of the backbeat. So it's really good for songwriting and playing with your band. It's definitely a favorite of mine. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Let me know what you think in the comments, how you're getting on. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. Share it with your drummer mates. That'd be awesome. And I'll see you in the next video.